These are two oil pumps I've got here for the B18C4. This is the original one that came out of the engine. I'm not sure how old it was. And this is the newer one which um, came out of the engine just as I've uh, stripped it now. Uh, this is the part number from Honda. This is proper OEM Honda one. And as you can see here, I've taken the uh, little screws out. I'll show you how to do that later. Um, and if you take this, all the screws out and have a look, you can see some quite heavy scoring marks. You should be able to see that. Um, either way, what's happened is um, some of that crap has been sucked up. Um, some of the swarf or whatever from the machine process has been sucked up into the pump and has scratched the hell out of the pump and has kind of ruined it. So that's not very really good, but I'm really hoping that this pump over here that came off the engine is going to uh, not be in the same bad condition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and undo it and do this by getting a big screwdriver. So this is a number three screwdriver, you can just about see that there. So you can see here, I've got the spanner, happens to be three eighths, and I've got this uh, number three screwdriver and the plan is to actually tread on it and use this little of tissue on it and try and be nicey nicey to it but you want to push as hard as you possibly can down onto the screwdriver and then just basically nip this so there you go that's one the next one this one this one that one final one and this one here And that works a lot better than um, using an impact uh, screwdriver because I tried an impact screwdriver before and if I just show you quickly yeah that can hammer the screw a bit either way and this has done a nice job I can just undo each of these and pray that these are okay This looks quite nice, I think. This would be quite a good comparison if I just try and show both of them. So you see here, try and get the lighting right there. There's no real grooves or anything. And then the worn one, a little bit hard to see maybe, but. You can kind of see all of the deep grooves we've got going in there. So maybe it's even clearer on the casing. Um, see the grooves there? And then here, there's not really any. So this pump might be in nice enough condition to use it. I certainly hope so. Um, I'll get a second opinion on it, but I think it might be. And then if I go over to the bearings, um, all of them look roughly the same. Just grab one if I can. As soon as it's out. If I just have a look at this one, and um, what you can see, or maybe you can't, but if I shine the light on there, um, all of them are quite worn. Um, you see the material, um, at least um, at the bottom here, um, it's quite uh, worn away. It's only had, say, a thousand miles on it anyway, so it's much more worn than it should be. Um, 
and those bearings are basically done. Uh, then if I go to uh, the pistons themselves, um, the pistons, you know, obviously not in ba that bad shape, um, although, you know, they're obviously used. So the bearings, you can see, again, um, quite worn, um, and these will need replacing as well for the big ends. And if I just show you this, this is the bearing for the main crank bearing, and that's very worn too. Now the oil pumps, uh, both of them, I've reviewed them now, and they're not in great shape, and for the sake of a couple hundred pounds, I may as well replace them, so they're both worn, even the one which I thought might be okay, the one that came out of the engine originally, is actually, um, has got some pickup on it, so again, that will need replacing, so I won't be using the old pump again. Uh, the crank itself um, doesn't really have any um, scratches on the actual bearing surfaces, it's all wrapped up, I would get it out, but just let's just say that's okay which is at least one good thing.